And I, when I heard that, that sounds so powerful because it says the father who gave you life, we always think it's the mother because it's the mother's womb you came out of, but it's the father who gives you life. And then our heavenly father gives us eternal life. Amen? Hallelujah. So Father God, we thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Daddy, we thank you. We love you. Amen. Daddy God. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank you, Abba Father. You're a great Father. Father, we thank you that many today are celebrating Father's Day and some can't. Because, not because their, their fathers are deceased, but because they've had a real terrible experience with their earthly father. But right now, Father God, I come before you and I ask, Father God, that you will heal the wounds. Heal the heavy hearts. Heal the, the broken hearts, Father God, the relationship. Even though some of them might have died and they never made amends. Father God, you be that heavenly father. You wrap them in your arms right now and let them know that they are loved by you. And there's nothing that they could have done that will take you away from their love, from your love. Father God, you love them even when they're unlovely. Because you don't love them because they love, but you love them because they're yours. And because you give your life, you give your son's life, Father God, that they might have eternal life. You love them with an everlasting love. So, Father God, we thank you for this. And right now, Father God, we just say thank you, Daddy God. Thank you, Daddy God, for being there always for us. Always for us. We love you, Lord God. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are a great God. You are a great God. And we bless your name on today. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you for each and every part of this service. We thank you as your name is lifted up that you will be praised. You will be glorified. You will be honored. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you today. We honor you today, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We magnify your holy name. For you are great. You are mighty. You are worthy, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are great God. Great, great, great God. And so we thank you for the songs of Zion. We thank you, Father God, for your preach word. We thank you, Father God, for all that will be done and said. But mostly we thank you, Father God, that you will remain Lord. Lord of all. <laughs> Lord of all. And we thank you that wherever your name is heard, Father God, that you will be lifted up. That men and women will, become, will come to you, will be drawn to you. They will see you, Father God, as Lord, as Lord, as Savior. Mm. As healer, as mighty deliverer, as our soon and coming King. And so we thank you, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.
this time, we're going to call on Pastor Evelyn to introduce her husband, the speaker for today. Amen. Amen. Happy Father's Day to all. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. when uh, we went to London, our spiritual father said, uh, you are no longer a minister. I call you apostle. And I began to speak to him why he was calling him apostle. So uh, he said he was going to uh, ordain him to come. Uh, I found it strange in the beginning when uh, we were dating because I wanted a man of God I didn't want a man. <laughs> you know, because you're thinking you're going to be traveling and then, you know. But God did it to where he was just who he is. And when I go to minister, he is right there. I mean, in the trenches. When I don't know what to say, I give him the mic and he just picks up as if we had discussed it. One time we were away and I was ministering and I, 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 I told him what I was ministering on. And he began to preach to me what I was ministering on with references. And so I just thank God for his life. Uh, he's just a wonderful, wonderful man and father. And so I introduce to you Apostle Isaac Miakwa Banson, a holy. <laughs> I love you. God bless you. I love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
give God our Father and say, Happy Father's Day. Father. <laughs> In Him we live and love and have our being. If it has not been for Him, we wouldn't be here. So we salute you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. And secondly, I would like to wish the father of the house, Amen. Apostle or our head. Amen. Happy Father's Day. Dad. <laughs> Amen. And thank you for giving me such a platform. And thank you for Pastor Barry Hazel. And I still love to acknowledge my wonderful, beautiful, honorable wife. She's a woman of virtue. And I salute you for all your support, the love that you show. And you just bestow it on me. When I'm being naughty, she still loves me. <laughs> so, and I love you. And the dads and men in the house, happy Father's Day to each and every one of you. And ladies, we won't leave you out because without you, we wouldn't be fathers. We cannot give birth. You gave birth to our children. So we salute you too. Amen. And today being Father's Day, I've been told to come and encourage uh, the fathers in the house. And I trust that God will grant us the grace to go through. Um, if time will permit <laughs> and uh, uh, in the first place um, when we say father in the Greek is called pater p-a-t-e-r and that means a generator someone who generates it means a generator or the nearest ancestor. My nearest ancestor is my dad. So, fathers, we are the nearest ancestor to our children. Yes, amen. Again, the Greek go deeper and say, a father is someone who um, is a founder of a race. You lead a generation, a race. And I want to just build something out of this to us. It's been used, fathers, the word father has been used many times. You know, and even in, in the days of all the um, Sanhedrin's, even use father. That's right. So, um, and we can see that in Acts and 72, we wouldn't go into that because there are a lot of scriptures that we will be using. Father is also used to describe God. Yes. And our early fathers, even the idolatrous priests, use the word father. Mm -hmm. Idolatry. Mm -hmm. They use the word father. So that's an important word uh -huh. in humanity. Yes. I'd like us to um, look at that in, in Judges 17.10. Judges 
17, 10. And Micah said unto him, Dwell with me, and be unto me a father and a priest, and I will give thee ten shekels of silver by this year, by the year, and a suit of apparel, and thy victuals. So the Levites went in. Micah was what we will call in our times a fetish priest. When you read, it says he's got lots of images, gods, in his house. And one thing we fathers have to know that though we are men of God, yet we have to be aware of such people. Amen. A fetish priest was able to convince a Levite. A priest with money. <laughs> and one thing I realized was that he being even a fetish priest knew the power and the goodness of God. Okay. For that reason he employed the Levite yeah. to dwell with him mm -hmm. so that it would be good with him. Fathers, men of God, yes. we are special. Amen. But we have to be aware yes. of our calling, yes. where God has placed us, and what he has bestowed on us. Yes. And not to sway from our walk with him. For he's called us to walk in his statutes and his ordinances. Yes. Let's continue and build it up. And through the gospel, we have seen and heard the word Father. And this is the Greek part of it. In the Hebrew, it's called Abba. But not everyone, not every Jew, can mention the name Abba. Unless you are pure-blooded Jew. Your mom, your dad, Jews. If your dad gave birth to you with an outsider, you have no right to call your father Abba. But that's their tradition. Mm -hmm. And one thing I want us to know here is that God, by his pure blood, Jesus Christ, has engrafted us into the kingdom. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And he says, well, Jesus, then, a firstborn of many brethren. That's yes. right. So we can boldly come and cry Abba, Abba yes, Father, amen. because we are pure-blooded. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Fathers, and if a father has been put in the home to represent God, then a father should be called a man of God. Yes, amen. And with a man of God, you have, there are some qualifications. Yes. We'll go into that, you know. But one thing I want us to know that as we are fathers and we are men of God on planet Earth, God has always got people or placed us here for a purpose. And when needed, he taps into our lives. Through crisis, God still uses men of God. God still uses fathers. 
Amen. God still uses fathers. And in the history of, you know, humanity, God gave fathers that position to first to warn. Warn, there's danger ahead. Children, stay this way. Be in line. To warn when something is going wrong. Yes. And that is the duty of a father.
soon the man of God to be perfect. Still on that same scripture, this will be our key scripture. To be perfect. But let's not take the perfect, word perfect in the ordinary meaning that like blameless, faultless, or but to be complete. Amen. Here the Bible is telling us the man of God, the father has to be complete. In all things, just Bible says that um, um, an imbalanced man or person is an abomination unto God. You have to be balanced. You have to be complete. An all-rounder. You have to be like um, the exactly fitted person in the home. God has placed you there. God has placed you there. So you have to be perfect. Amen. For you cannot give what you don't have. So if you don't know the scriptures, and if you are not complete, how can you now Teach your child the way to go. So that when he grows or she grows, she will not depart. And that's what Bible is telling us today. That as a man of God, you have to be perfect. You have to be complete. The third is to be thoroughly finished unto all good works. Still the same scripture. This scripture is loaded. Yep. It's just loaded. Just a short scripture, but very deep. Thoroughly finished mm -hmm. in all good works. Not just Doing things, oh, this, oh, okay, okay, and listen. But doing things that will be good Amen. and acceptable Amen. in the sight of God. Amen. First, and when it's acceptable in the sight of God, it will also be acceptable in the sight of man. Because whatsoever is established in heaven, yes. mm -hmm. so is it on earth. Amen. 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 I think we're getting somewhere. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Also to be inspired by the Holy Ghost. Still the same scripture. To be inspired by the Holy Ghost. Bow says, My sheep hear my voice. Yeah. Yeah. Can we depict the, the voice of the devil from the voice of God? Yeah. We should be able to. Yeah. Yes, Apostle, we should be able to. Yeah. But do we? That's where the problem is. But we always hear the voice of God through his word. Yes. Amen. Amen. Studying the word. Not reading the word. Studying the word as the Bible says. Study to show. do we study? So if we don't study the word, then how would we hear the voice of the God? How do we hear the voice of God? 
Because there are many voices speaking even in our lives in this world right now. Many voices all around us. But it takes the man of God to hear what the voice of God is saying in the now. Then we can be qualified to be men of God. I want you to write this down and uh, this scripture down. You can um, study it when you go home. It's still under to be inspired by the Holy Ghost and Nehemiah 9 30 and Numbers 11. 16 to 29. Nehemiah 9 30. And Numbers 11 16 to 29. When you go home, we can, you know, in the quiet of the day, you can sit down and study and let God speak to you. Let the Holy Ghost inspire you, give you direction. As he said in his word, you hear the clear, still voice, that small voice, behind you, mm -hmm. telling you, turn to the right or turn, turn to, to the, the left. left. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know the word, when he speaks, you wouldn't hear, mm -hmm. because you wouldn't know his voice. Mm -hmm. Men of God, fathers, yes. let's rise up. Yes, amen. Onto that pedestal that God has placed us, the position where He has placed That's us. Right, amen. And if we are there by His grace, let's maintain it. Amen. Let's maintain that level. For then we can bring difference on planet Earth. Amen. That's right. That's right. Make a difference. Also, as a man of God, or as a father, um, Jehovah God, mm -hmm. He Himself has to make his, Himself known unto you. Mm -hmm. If you have a father in the home, as a child, when we were growing, and you don't know your father, mm -hmm. then, <laughs> Who would you know okay. as a father okay. or as a man of God in the home? Who would you know? Because even uh, your, your man's friend can walk in to visit you and say, Oh, okay, that's my dad then because I like the way he looks. But you have to know who your dad is. Right. And not knowing, oh, that's my dad, his figure, his name, and but knowing the character That's right. of your father. Mm -hmm. The integrity of your father. The ability of your father. You know when your father says, Son, I'm going to give you this. He has said it, and that's final. He will give it to you. Mm -hmm. I remember in uh, those times when we were growing up, um, my dad could look at me and say, you know what? I'm going to buy you a big sheep and you will drive it on the road. Sheep do not drive. Um, <laughs> yeah. You can't see sheep on the road. No. They're on the water. Yeah. See? But whatever he tells me, I believe it. Yes. Because, yeah, my dad said, I know he would do it for me. I'm so proud. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, as a man of God, you have to know Jehovah himself. That's right. Amen. Mm. Paul says, Israel knew his acts. But his ways, That's right. 
was made known unto Moses. You have to know him as a man, as a father in heaven. Okay, thanks. And uh, Jehovah making himself known unto the Father or the man of God, Numbers 12, 6. We can write it down because all these scriptures I know we're constrained with time, so when we go home we can study it by ourselves. Numbers 12, 6. Ezekiel 3, 17. Jeremiah 15, 19. Numbers 12, 6. Ezekiel 3, 17. Jeremiah 15, 19. Also, the sixth one is that you have to be qualified to act in God's state in the home. But if you don't know him, how can you act in his state? Because even in, in, in the Bible there were appearances of God in the form of an angel and appeared unto men. Mm -hmm. And we are his representatives That's right. on earth. That's right. So if we are, then we have to operate on that level. This could be seen in Judges 13.6. Judges 13, 6. And then when you continue from the 18, uh, verse number 18 to 22, it's also there. As a man of God, as Bible describes, when he came on earth. And when you have these things, I, I, I'm not going to say, oh, it's easy. Oh, this is not. But it's by grace. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if we are not operating on this level, we can ask God right. to grant us the grace, right. the ability to start walking as men right. of God Amen. in the home mm -hmm. and on earth. And before we come to an end, I would like us to pray. Men of God, I would like us to pray. That when we know we are not operating as Bible has commanded us, that we will ask God to activate mm -hmm. our spirit man. Mm -hmm. That God will act on the inside of us. That's right. mm -hmm. We have to pray sincerely for That's that. Right. Amen. So that the family will not be destroyed. That's right. Mm. Because the enemy is seeking who he may devour. And there are a lot of things right now going on which um, entices our children. So much so that there are things that they may even know that we don't know they know. Some of them even know better than us, especially when it comes to technology. They will be in their rooms and everything, but you don't know what they are doing. And they come out, go out there, and, I mean, do something that is out of order and out of the character that you know mm -hmm. your child to be. Right. And then you come out and start defending your child 
he is not like that, she is not like that, he's a good girl, she's a, he's a good boy, and all those things. But you don't know what he or she knows. But if we have the word of God in us, we know the scriptures, and we have trained our children the way to go. When they see evil, they know this is evil. That's right. When they see good, they know this is good. And they will pursue good and not evil. For children are blessing. Yes, they are. As the Bible says. Mm -hmm. And blessed is the man who scraper is full mm -hmm. of them. They will answer their enemies at the gates. The enemy, evil. When evil comes, your children will be able to stand. That's right. And cut it. That's right. But if we are not doing that, then <laughs> my God. My God. <laughs> my God. Because if they go wrong and they die. In their sins, God will require their blood from us because we have to. It's our responsibility, men, to do that to train them, and we did not because we ourselves do not know our Father. So, if we don't know our Father, we don't have him in us, so we cannot give what we don't have. Amen. Amen. I believe that God has come to admonish us today, some of us, if we are not doing that. And if we are doing that too, God has come to empower us to do more to stand on that pedestal and do what is right in his sight amen is somebody being blessed here today hallelujah hallelujah before I take my seat I want us to rise up men and women do back us in prayer we want us, I want us to pray just two, just two topics. One, that the Spirit of God will be activated, uh, activated in us, in our spirit man. So that we can hear from God. So one, spiritual activation. Mm -hmm. Two, that the Holy Spirit will make himself real to us. That our perception, our vision will be clear. Amen. We'll know when, what, and how to do and handle every situation. He has given us that ability. Shall we rise up, men? Yeah, let's rise up, men, and let's pray. I want us to pray. Everyone, stand, stand. Oh. Let's stand and pray for our our man because God has granted us everything that pertains to life and godliness he has given us his mercies and we want to come today and say Activate your spirit in us. 
We give you glory, Lord. Father, we worship you. We thank you. I love you, Lord. For your goodness never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will see all the goodness of God I love you Lord I love you Lord been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness I will sing I will sing of the goodness of God Let's pray for our men. Let's pray for our men. Keep us so tired. Let's pray for our fathers. Keep us so tired. Lendo Romo Sutu Kubaya Labaya Labado. Sataya Lababa Bondo Koba Sitayana. Hendo Robaba Kaba Soto Yolo Bobo. Kibo Bobo 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 Bendo Rusutu. Ye Narundo to Rama Kabajan do Kundaria. Activate your spirit in us, Lord, activate your spirit in us. Grant us vision, grant us vision in the name of Jesus. Give us so tired, Baba, Baba, and where we have heard, where we have gone wrong, where we have done what you have commanded us to do. We say have mercy and cleanse us from all our sins and our wickedness and rejuvenate our spirit man again. That we will walk in thy statutes and thy ordinances. And Father, that we will walk in your ways. For you are said even in your word that you order our going out and our coming in. Our steps are ordered by you, God. Therefore, order our steps and let us know you. Not only your acts by your way, but your ways, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Abba Father, you are our source of every good thing. We thank you. And we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall we see you today?
Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So we thank God. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together and just bless God and thank God for the word. Amen. Amen. And come to the word of God, the Lord of fathers. Amen. In the house of the house. Amen. So you get to see all the fathers. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm just stepping in for the for the ladies who are assisting. I'm not sure what, what, what should I do? Okay, good. So we do the offering. Amen. Thank you. Amen. So this time we will receive today's offering. God is able to give you much more than this. Amen. God is able to give you, call your name, much more than this. That's our prayer. That's our faith. Amen. That God is able to do it for you. Amen. Praise Him. God is able. As you write it out, you say, God, you are able to give me much more than this. Press down, shaking together, and running over. Amen. God's going to cause men to give into your bosom. Amen. And if you need an offering, you pull up and you're in the house, just wave your hand and they'll bring one to you. Amen. If you're making another check, make it payable to Global Life Church. If you're online and you'd like to send me a a blessing to the ministry, Global Life Church. You can send it into Global Life Church, PayPal uh, backslash Global Life Church. PayPal.me backslash Global Life Church. You can send it in. It's right above your uh, the, the, the video. And you can just send it in. And it will be a blessing. Amen to the ministry. Praise God. So the ushers you can come and see the offering. Thank you for the gifts of your people. We pray, oh God, for every hand, Lord God, that stretched out to give today, that there'll be a blessing of 1,000 times upon their hand, that their hands that be we are feeble, that their hands be strong, that their feet be ashes of feet, 
turn to iron and brass. We decree and we declare that they are strong in the Lord and the power of His might. And so, Father, every every offering, every tithe that we have given today, let it go forth to pull down the kingdom of darkness in the earth as we pray, as we preach, and as we worship. Let, Lord God, our ties work for us. Now, Father, we thank you. Those who are looking for brand new jobs, we thank you for brand new jobs. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Someone who's looking for an increase in their pay and their job, we thank you for an increase that would come, tangible increase that would come in the name and the blood of Jesus. We thank you, God, for businesses that are going to give with their workers money just for gas. Somebody said, that's me. When you come back uh, next Sunday, you could just testify of that one. But we thank you for the bosses of our corporation during this time is going to give us just for you money, just for you. And put it in your hand and squeeze it. I said, don't tell anybody. Somebody said, that's me. I tell you, if it can happen for you, I remember my wife, when they were doing this, they cut it 8% and everything else, and she was giving, giving like she had the same amount of money, and she got an increase while they were cutting. Don't ask me how. Somebody said, uh-huh. I tell you, so the believers can keep, can stop recession. The believers can stop recession. The believers has the power to stop Recession. Somebody say hallelujah. This was this thing that they're talking about. This is a, a talking recession. We're not really in a recession. They're talking. They're talking it into being. Talking it into being. And so therefore we're not going to talk like they talk. We have all kind of name. Giddy, um, giddy recession. Bumpy recession. Bouncing recession. I've never heard so many names. And I did a little bit of, um, I, I studied a little e economist, <laughs> economy, whatever I call it. I've never heard of those names uh, I, 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 in it, but I studied it. I said, wow. But we're not, we are, we, we are going to say the blessings of God are coming upon me. Come on, let's say the blessing of God. One more time, the blessings of God is coming upon me and they're overtaking me. Uh, come on, one more time, the blessings of God coming upon me and they're overtaking me. The gas in my car, the gas in my car tank, hear me gas in my car tank, multiply. That was just a practice one by time. Hear me? You gas in my tank, multiply. In Jesus' name. All right, I stand like Jesus. Bread, multiply. Fish, Somebody drop out, man. Fish! If y'all think uh, the Bible is Nancy's story, uh -huh. My gas in my tank multiplying. Somebody say hallelujah. So if Jesus could multiply with a bread, with a prayer, lift it up to a father, I can multiply the fish. Oh, I'm, I'm right there in line to act just like Jesus. Thank you. God is good. Somebody say God is good. Amen. So I turn it back over. Amen. Amen. Good, good. We're gonna we're gonna do the communion. Okay. We're gonna do communion. Even though I don't have a communion waiter. Can somebody help me with one? But we lift the bread. Amen. As I will wait for mine, as we lift the bread, which is indicative of give apostle mine. As we lift the bread, it um, represents the broken body of Jesus Christ on Calvary's tree. Now we thank you that your body was all emaciated and broken just for me. Somebody said, just for me. So whatever externally is broken in my finances, my family, my surrounding, my workplace, and my job. God, if Jesus you have the ability to mend it. Somebody said, mend it. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's uh, eat it, discerning what we are doing. It's good to give it a little shake if we can. Father, 
when I lift the cup. As we present your shed blood in Calvary, we love you. Thank you for shedding your blood in Calvary just for us. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission for my sins and cleansing for my sins. And so, Father, we just thank you for your blood that brings about deliverance of our blind body, soul, and spirit as we drink it. We are drinking for our deliverance, drinking for our consistent healing. And so far, we thank you that every growth, every cyst, every cancer, every trouble, every trauma in our bodies now, we send the blood to it to defeat it out of our bodies in Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. Let's read it together as one family walking, living in love. Yes, God, we thank you. Can we say thank you? Lord, we thank you for your blood. Thank you for your shed blood. And also we thank you for your broken body and Calvary. In Jesus' name. Everybody shout. Amen. 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 So at this time, I'm not sure if we have Taddy. Is Taddy available? No, he's Maggie today. Oh, he's Maggie today? Oh, Taddy. I'm so sorry. Taddy the next week, okay? Maggie, come. They said Maggie. Come, Maggie. Maggie, no, come, come. Go to Andrew. Amen. And as you did a little bag, that's what you leave it in your hands and then you see the same thing. Amen. Okay, good. Now, right now, uh, we have what you call it. Shake, shake, shake. You can take it off. Amen. That's one. That's one. That's one. Mm-hmm. Shop the number. The wonderful Maggie picked the number. 18. Yes, 1 and 8. If you have that number, you're the person who gets the gas today. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, go ahead. You have to say who it is for? Who should write any? Go ahead. Come, come. Yeah. You're both. Yeah. Okay. Alright. That's Mr. Brian got some gas. Okay, happy Father's Day. <laughs> All right, let's hope. Okay, what, what number? Number two. Let's hope that the fathers are ringing today. All right, all right. Here it comes.
invite all the men to stand. All the fathers of men. -Man. I guess you were using the wrong name. My name is not 
He had to try it with my Judy, you're right, and I'm wrong, but he was using my mother's name. Okay, that's my brother. Anyway. My father didn't like that then. He would say, everybody has their own problem. Maybe that's because it's like, you know, sometimes people would be like, only them. How would she do that? He would say, everybody has their own problem. Okay, for those who didn't understand that or hear that, um, her dad said, everybody have their own issues or problem. That, that's it, that's the, the, the bulk of it, he didn't like gossip. So yeah. Because everybody has something right. going on, so don't gossip. Mm -hmm. and that's a good one. Mm -hmm. How about my dear sister? Mm -hmm. hey, my dad died on Father's Day nine years ago. Oh. That's a hard one. But I'm good, mm -hmm. and yes. my dad would always call me, I'm darling, you're beautiful. Oh. Beautiful, that's wonderful. Yeah. All right, my dear sister, she said that her dad passed on Father's Day, but she's okay, and that he would always say, and, and you're beautiful. beautiful. And it's, that's wonderful that, because fathers are supposed to validate you. Yes. So that was, that's a, that's a beautiful note. Yes. They're supposed to validate you. Yes, we do have to have Brother Taddy to pass his information before he says it. So he's getting approval right now from Grandma. But in the so meantime, while, he, while he's getting counsel, because I don't know why he's On the same note as my sister and that, uh, my father always used to tell us that um, be kind of like you have potential condom. And Anita was always a, a great motivator. My hey, father. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Potential condom. Okay, but, uh, um, but uh, Taddy's finally qualified to say his statement. Oh, he's not? Not qualified? <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. Hey, no. You have to pass it to um, Grandma first. Grandma has to approve it first. If, if Grandma doesn't approve it, we can't just say it. You can't really say it. <laughs> you can't really that by, that mighty word. So if you didn't get it qualified, and you're going to be the last one to hurry up and give me that, that great word. <laughs> Is Grandma going to have to repeat this word for you? Because it's going quite long. <laughs> you literally did this. <laughs> this is the... Nobody knows this is the church figure. <laughs> you put this figure up and you know you got it this way. Oh my goodness. This, this is getting detailed, Daddy. Oh my goodness. Is it approved? I, I, okay, it's still, it's still being with that, but I, I said it was the last one. Any, any more? Any last? Um, t um, um, not quantifiable. Okay. That word, <laughs> but not, that word has to germinate and it's going to come back. We have one from Susan Devon. So, Trouble. Company does carry you, but don't bring you. Okay. Now interpret because that's an old time saying. Because we all know that we don't hear these things, but then you have to interpret them. Company does carry you, but don't follow you. They carry you to the trouble. Carry you to the trouble, but they don't take you out. Okay, okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. And you know something? Our oh, parents really did do that, you know. They give us these saying, and then they leave you to figure them out. Sometimes they didn't need to tell you exactly what it meant. You know, and you had to try to do your homework and figure it out. But we got great words of advice from our fathers, our mothers, and all our elders. But we surely do appreciate our fathers for those great words of advice. And the, and the, the thing about them is that we could continue to leave them. Their words that this go on forever. So while you were children, they were good. And even while you're older, they're still good. Amen? So Amen. we thank God for our fathers. And there was a song that... Was on WhatsApp and then yeah, we we'll we'll stop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, when we stop, we're going to play yeah, at, the the, at the end. And then also at the end, we're going to ask our missionaries to come and um, <laughs> give a quick report. They're going to be. Okay, well, um, Judy and Brother David missionary come. David. Missionary David. Missionary David, yes. <laughs> So y'all gonna come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. 
Happy Father's Day to every man, father in the house. God bless you. I pray that you will continue to be the man of God that he has called you to be. Well, um, God has been really gracious to us. Um, we thank you for your prayers. We left here on the 29th, 8th, I believe it was. It took us three days to get to Uganda. Um, on the way, we had great turbulence. I learned to pray different languages and times. <laughs> By the time I got to Uganda, I was ready. I was ready because um, I had to pray so much for hours, for hours. I'm like, my God. From uh, Washington, D.C. to Turkey uh, was, was very rough. Jesus. And um, I'm like, Lord, did you say we should go? <laughs> When I, when I got to Turkey, uh, I, the last time I saw my phone, we were getting out the seat to get in the aisle to be playing. And I had my phone, I showed Joan and David something on the phone. By the time I got out the plane, there was no phone. So I lost my, some money, my, my credit card, and so many things, um, important documents. And uh, I began to understand that the purpose I was going to Uganda for was major. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because of the intensity of the attacks on the way, I'm like, my God, what, what is this you want to do in Uganda? When I got there, I understood. And by the time we got there, David got COVID. <laughs> And then David had to be isolated. I'm like, God, what is this? <laughs> but when I, when I got there, the, almost the entire team of the ones who were organizing the conference was sick, had to be at the hospital, wow. uh, major spiritual attacks. But I'm telling you, when we began the conference, the glory of God came Hallelujah. into the place. I mean, change occurred, people got delivered. Uh, churches were impacted, uh, people from Kenya, Tanzania, and other places in Uganda, they were so blessed. Amen. Amen. So, yes, there was an intensity of the attack, but the glory was, was greater. Amen. The glory of the Lord was revealed, and we saw God just doing some major things in Uganda. We got invitation to go to other countries. They are hungry, hungry, hungry. So next time we want to get a team. So any of you who are interested in going, we have a year to prepare. Amen. 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 And say, oh yes, it's costly. So it's mission. So God, I, I thank God for um, Global Life. You bless us. Uh, thank God when I send the money, I got the money through PayPal. I didn't spend it all. That was the money in the purse that was not in the, in the purse in the phone that I was able to use in Uganda because my, my card, my credit card was lost. Oh, so God was so faithful. I thank Amen. you all for being a blessing to Amen. us. Amen. Amen. Okay. <laughs> First of all, the, the flight wasn't bad. Yeah. Okay, do this. To you. I fly to you. and I'm going to for years. Uh -huh. uh, it's worse than that. Oh, Jesus. I'm flying on plane and I'm sticking my head going this way. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, that was a long time because I had too much weight in it. I had to fly in pain and I'm like this. Anyway, I never thought COVID would have been a blessing. Amen. It, it was a blessing for me because I got to change so much. Like she said, I was isolated, but that wasn't an issue. I was in Africa, I was there before, so it wasn't that I missed out. That we went to the same, practice same areas. Yeah, okay. But um, I got to think a lot and find the purpose that was born. Yeah, no, that's good, that's good, that's good. It was a big thing for me. Amen. My parents in Damas for about 58 years and work and work and work. Mm -hmm. I realized that there are people that need my gift. Mm -hmm. 
in Mona and Uganda, all states, all countries yeah, in Africa. Yeah, that's good. So what I got out from this whole thing is that I'm willing to go back. No matter the long flight, the flight was real long mm -hmm. and real boring, but <laughs> I got to go back next week, I'll go back and Amen. Amen. So my goal is to get stuff together so I can go back and do what I, that I saw in 2014 when I was there before, and it's still there today. Mm -hmm. So I got some stuff that will make it easy for a couple of people, not all, but a good bit, like I in all the countries in Africa, but it's to do that. Amen. I didn't mind COVID. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, So we thank God for all those who came. I know my good friend came. Uh, we yeah, yeah. met at the funeral, the only morning funeral, and it's like, it's a man, I'm, I'm going to come. Amen. Sh sh give us your name, shout your name again. Wingrove. Wingrove. Seaton, good. Wingrove Seaton. Good to have you. Amen. Smitten, Smitten. Good, good, good. Uh, put your hands uh, and uh, just welcome him. Amen. Amen. And uh, anyway, next to um, Sister Tonbo, is this a first time guest? No, 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 sister, Cleon sister. This one? Cleon sister. This Cleon sister, okay, okay. Okay. The other one. Okay. So both sisters are Cleon sisters? Yes. Okay, bless you. You're under the mask. I, I, I recognize Tonbo, but this is the, the other one. Okay, bless you. Thank you, thank you for coming. Any other visitors? Um, amen. Bless you. Thank God for all those who made it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Glory be to God. Amen. So they're giving out some more to those who did not get. So all they do is pray. That's a share piece of Isaac's own. So there's a lady in front here, a pastor I'm going. All the ladies. Yes. Amen. So let, let's show our hands towards uh, the camera. God, may God bless you and keep you. May God cause his face to shine upon you. Give you his grace and give you his peace. And we pray over the fathers that you have your best and blessed fathers day to day. May you all the prayers and the gifts. Folks take you all over the world just to celebrate the fathers. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.